What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to swap out the fog lights on my 2020 Toyota Tundra Platinum. So what we're gonna be doing is, um, these were the factory fog lights that were in the truck. LED, very bright for OEM fog lights. They are actually very impressive to be honest. Um, very good fog lights, but as you can see, chrome housing. My truck is blacked out. I went from the Platinum LED headlights to the TRD Pro headlights on the truck already, just to give it that blacked out look to flow with the rest of the truck. So these are the fog lights we're going to be installing oem toyota fog lights same exact fogs the only difference is chrome housing that was in the truck all blacked out housing from toyota believe it or not these are also not very expensive um, so definitely worth it for me super easy install um, so i'm going to show you how to pop the old ones out get the new ones in so uh, again very easy let's jump right to it all right, guys, I'm going to show you the driver side. The passenger side will be the exact same thing, just obviously opposite sides. So in order to do the driver side, as you can see, I have the wheel turned all the way out just to give you a little extra room to work. The only thing you're going to have to do is remove this panel right here. And in order to do that, it's just a, just a few bolts. There's a 10 millimeter bolt right here, a 10 millimeter bolt right there. There's a pop clip back in there that you can't miss. Mine's actually already out. I had to do, mine's gonna look different than yours only because I had to trim it when I put my 35s on. Um, if you wanna see more about that, I do have a video on the channel showing you what I had to trim to make my 35s fit with my 4.2 ready lift kit. Um, so going back to this 10 millimeter bolt, 10, 10 millimeter bolt, pop clip, and then there's a couple bolts up underneath. Again, same thing. I don't, I don't know if I can get you a good look at them. Let me see but you can't miss them if you're you know if you look along the bottom there you really can't miss them i don't know if that came out good on the video or not but so i'm going to set the camera down go ahead and remove those and um i'll show you what we have to do to get the fog light out all right guys i have you mounted underneath the wheel well facing the panel that we're going to be removing so again just a couple 10 millimeter bolts out here You would have that pop clip that you would have to remove. Again, mine's already out. And then we just have um, the bolts underneath here. So I'm gonna go on, go underneath there and get those removed. So as you can see, once you remove all of the bolts and that pop, clin, uh, pop pin, the panel just comes loose like this, but it is held on. There is kind of a bracket piece over here, and I'll give you a better look at it once we get the, the piece removed. In order to get this out of there, you're just gonna kind of pull away like that, and also down like so, and it'll pop out of there like that. Now the bracket piece that I'm talking about stayed on the truck in this case. Some cases it will come off with the plastic trim piece, no big deal. You'll see where it sits, you really can't miss it. There's a couple grooves right here and right here where the 10 millimeter bolts came out of. Um, again, it's, it's self-explanatory, you can't miss it. The bracket can only go, not go on there one, one way. So now that we have that panel out of the way, we have easy access to the fog light, which is right here. So let me get the, um, the camera repositioned a little bit better and I'll show you what we have to do. Okay, now that we have that panel off and out of the way, you can easily access the fog light, which is right here. The only thing holding this fog light in place is one Phillips head screw right here. And then there's two tabs over here that it kind of slides into, which I'll show you when I take it out. So let me just, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the wiring harness before we do anything. It's just a little push tab and it'll separate like that. And you can just shove that out of the way. So I'm gonna take this Phillips head screw out of here and I'll show you what the back of it looks like. So once you have the Phillips head screw out of there, you can just tilt it and then slide it. So the tabs that I was talking about on the inner side, there's two openings right here that these two tabs just slide into. So again, there's only that one screw holding it in place and the fog light just comes out that easy. So I'll grab the new one, put it in and put the Phillips head screw back in and you're just reversing your steps. Okay, so when you go to put the new one in, again, you're just gonna take those two tabs, get the wiring harness out of the way, take the two tabs. You can actually view it from the front to make sure you're putting the, the tabs in the slots there. 
So once you have those two tabs in, you'll just set it in place, grab that Phillips head screw, get that back in there, connect the wiring harness, and you're good to go. All right guys, just a little tip. When you're tightening up the Phillips head screw there, you take your other hand and push on the black housing of the fog light from the front, and that'll help you keep it in place as you're tightening down that screw. So once you have that done, just go ahead and reconnect your wiring harness to the new fog light, put it in place till you hear it click, and you're all done. So let me give you a look at um, the front of the truck and show you how it looks. Before I show you how they look on the truck, I just wanted to point one other thing out. These are obviously the ones that we took out of the truck, but again, the new ones are the same exact thing. It does have a leveling, um, not a motor, but a levering um, wheel right here. So as you change, as you turn that wheel, you can see the lens of the fog light going up or down. So um, again, once you get the new ones installed, if they're not, you know, laying out the beam pattern that you want, if you want it lower or higher, just go ahead and adjust that. You can reach that while they are in the truck. Um, so I just wanted to point that out. So let's take a look at the truck. All right, guys, there she is, all finished up. Black LEDs are in there. I'll throw some um, pics, side-by-side -side shots up on the screen for you. But as you can see, very easy install. And if you're going for the blackout look on your truck and you want to keep the OEM LED fog lights on there, I uh, highly recommend these. Again, they are not that expensive and they are very bright for OEM fog lights. So, all right, so hopefully you guys found this helpful. As always, feel free to leave any comments, questions, concerns down below, and I will get back to you. Stay tuned for that exhaust and intake video coming up. I'm still waiting to get them in the mail. Um, as soon as they are delivered, we'll be getting those videos done. I'm pretty pumped up for them to uh, mods to the truck. So. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it, and uh, stay safe. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot. Take care.